people, I go by the name of Chunk Trooper and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel, whichever one. Basically, the Black Ops Cold War beta has been released for PlayStation 4. It's only on uh, for the people that pre-ordered the game at the minute. But it is on PlayStation 4. The PC and Xbox will be coming up next weekend, I think. But this weekend is just for the PlayStation 4 people. So if you have got a PlayStation 4 people and you pre-ordered it or whatever, hop on, smash it out. Comment down below how you get on on your games, how you're feeling about it, what you like, you know, because there's a lot that's changed compared to the, the alpha that we played and put the content up on the channel. But the beta, it's changed a lot. It feels a lot more crisper. I'll obviously be doing a different video a bit more in depth about talking about it. But this one, people, is about the settings because the settings have been changed and it's my preferred settings. And I highly suggest you give these settings a go, people, because... I've been doing alright to be fair, I ain't been doing too bad, right? it's not like I've been doing shitty at the game, do you know what I mean? But, for the settings people, we obviously got a 6.6 6 on the sensitivity. Uh, I've gone for an 80 here, but I'm probably going to move it up to a 90, because the simple fact is, I've kind of found it a little bit slow, so I'd say move it up to 90, don't go with an 80 people, I'd say go with a 90, how I've done it, uh, and you'll find it a pretty comfortable setting. That's obviously when you're zoomed in down slight to how fast you move to and fro, do you know what I mean? And obviously my button layout, I don't know how other people's button layout is because, you know, yeah, everyone has their own personal preference. But me, my broadcast ain't got a scuff controller. I only got a normal PlayStation controller. The only modification I have is the one control freak uh, on the side of my controller, uh, on this analog of my controller. Just help me. Um, with my aim a little bit better, you know, just so obviously it's a little bit crisper and I'm making sure more of them bullets are hitting on target. I'd highly suggest trying out these Control Freaks people if you haven't got any already. Uh, I can link the Control Freaks website in the description and you can go try it out and see if you can get yourself uh, some Control Freaks. Obviously, I'm not sponsored by them, but you'll be able to find many of Creator Codes who are sponsored by them um, to get a bit of discount on these Control Freaks, which is always a fucking bonus. Um, so yeah, I'll link that in the description if you do want to buy yourself some Control Freaks, then it's in the description but i use bumper jump tactical simple fact is obviously i don't have the paddles on the back of my controller so obviously my, my jump where obviously i've got it on flip so it'll be my l1 and r1 is obviously to aim in on fire and now my throwing my lethals r2 and jumping will be l2 for me so then i don't have to take my fingers off the analogs so if you do want to give out them controller settings then let me know how you're done with them in the comments down below but that's how i've played since probably about i'd say probably since about call of duty world war ii because i was getting a bit pissed off with having to always play like, kind of like a claw in it and I get some people play like that and it's comfortable for them, but uh, I just wanted something a little better. I was looking at getting a scuff controller and couldn't get one in the end, so I thought, fuck it, I might as well just change my L2 to the jump. So, tactical bumper jump it is, people. Uh, on the flip, obviously, this, your controller vibration, you definitely want it off, because obviously when you're shooting people and say someone's shooting your back, your controller might vibrate and it could throw your aim off that little tiny bit but that tiny bit obviously always matters so that's why i'd always have the controller vibration disabled uh slow down aim is i've got that enabled just keep that to normal again people uh keep this one for automatic hold i've just kept these ones pretty much the same Obviously, your advanced settings, I've kept mine to the, obviously, how they are, because I think it feels quite comfortable, but it, this one's down to your personal preference. If you've got, like, a slight stick drift or whatnot, you can probably figure it out in this setting here. Controller sounds disabled. We don't want that shit coming out of the controller, and that's all you want to hear is what's coming out your ears. You want it in your ears so you can hear the footsteps, you can hear where the enemies are coming from, and the sound is a lot more improved in this. We'll get into the sound settings in a minute, people, but... You don't want it coming out your controller. Keep the sounds coming out your headphones, people, all right? This disabled, because no. Okay. Disabled, everyone knows. But if you do want to, obviously, sprint, 
auto sprint so you don't have to click the analog in so you don't get as much wear and tear on your analog stick you can have that enabled well i got it disabled because i ain't a fan of that sort of thing cancel reload you'll have that enabled because obviously if you start to sprint it will cancel reload i don't know really if i want that enabled or not that's the thing it's a kind of a tricky one really it's what suits your preference because obviously there is always triangles or, or an xbox is yy on pc <laughs> i ain't got the foggiest in it i've never been a keyboard and mouse player well, people we're gonna go on to the graphics and this is where treyarch have changed the game do you know what i mean this is an ultimate game changer down here people Obviously, you say so, and it's just whatever preference to your monitor, blah de blue blah, blah. Everyone knows that. Color blind type, I've got that disabled. Just obviously, if you're color blind, then just go through these and you'll know what one to do. Uh, but your field of view, people, right? My personal preference, I had it set to 98. I wasn't really keen on it. Do you know what I mean? So, I'm gonna try 100. Obviously, I'd highly suggest going in between, probably say, go in between 90 to 100. Because obviously, the further out you go, the more frame rate might drop and blah, blah, blah. But I wouldn't really suggest going much higher than that, maybe. If you really want to, you can, but I wouldn't personally go any higher than that. I'm obviously just going to keep it down here at 100. You want your motion blur, you want that off. You don't want that on at all. You can have it on, and self only. Or enabled but we want that shit disabled we don't want no blur when we're spinning around do you know what i mean obviously it'll show you on the pictures just here um but you don't want none of that where it's disabled the picture on the left shows you what you're going to see when you turn which is absolutely no blur that's what you want the christmas you can see the enemies do you know what i mean it'll be worth turning that off people so yeah uh your brightness is obviously just what it's to your preference and how your monitor is and bloody blue blood you know i mean it's how it suits you it it yeah it's to your monitor type you know so whatever audio settings mute sounds not not really too fussed about that basically your master sound volume i kept everything up people apart from the music i turned that down a little bit the music i don't I don't mind hearing it a little bit, innit? but I don't want it too loud in my ears where I can't hear what's going on in the game. Uh, audio presets. You've got, obviously, Treyarch Mixer, Bass Boost, and High Boost. The only reason I'm doing High Boost is because, obviously, I rocked with a High Boost in the Alpha, uh, and I found that a High Boost was the best one for me. Uh, obviously, if you do want to try through going through all these people and figuring out your own one, you can, but I'd highly suggest trying out the High Boost. Hit marker sound effect, yeah, that keep all this on, people. Uh, down here, your mic, and if you want to mess around with your mic sense and blah blah blah, you can, but I ain't really messed around with it. Subtitles, yeah, obviously, I've turned the subtitles off, but when the game fully comes out, and there's I will be doing a walkthrough of the campaign and I'll have subtitles on for you guys, but for the multiplayer, I ain't got subtitles on because I don't really want it taking up my screen i can hear what's going on so i don't really need to read what's going on as well as try and shoot at the same time as we know i'm a dog shit reader crosshairs i've just kept all this as shown 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 it's up to you if you want to or not here again it's up to you if you want their health by there or not um i've just kept it on shown play a name you can or not whatever uh, and obviously the same here and just do whatever there um yeah people but that's the settings i'm rocking with at the minute uh, in black ops cold war and i highly highly suggest you just give these settings a go and if you have given my go then comment down below let me know what you think of them let me know how you've done with the tactical bumper jump let me know if you felt that it was strange or you got you you liked it you know comment down below i always like to know how you guys feel about things you know like this so just comment down below let me know because it would be interesting to see how you guys do but anyway people if you have enjoyed this video and you do want to see more black ops cold war content and please make sure you subscribe to the channel with post notifications turned on and then just while you're down there could you also like this video please just so i know that you enjoyed it or it was helpful to you guys or you know you found some use for the video it wasn't just a boring 
piece of shit to watch. But yeah. Anyway, people, so there will definitely be more content coming from the channel. I'm literally going to get this video uploaded. And then I'm going to come on and try and get some recording done for you guys. So yes, people, I hope you all have an amazing day. Because obviously it's really early here in England. It's the beginning of the day. I hope you all have an amazing day. Or if you're from somewhere else around the world, I hope you have a good evening. Whatever, good afternoon. Wherever you are, just hope you all have an amazing day. And I will see you very soon for another video. Peace out. Love you all. Well.